Hiya. So I've got a WordPress site and I want people to be able to send me emails. I don't want to put my email address on the site. Well, there's a common solution to that in WordPress, and that is what we call generally contact forms. Um, and there are tons and tons of options for contact forms. In this video, we're going to cover one called Ninja Forms. Let's get to it. So Ninja Forms is a contact form plugin that does all kinds of extra stuff, and it's a totally free plugin that you can use just by going to plugins, add new on any site, and searching the WordPress plugin repository for Ninja Forms. So if I do that, I can install and activate Ninja Forms right here in the dashboard. Um, Ninja Forms makes money by selling you extensions. So if you ever need to like take payments on a form or anything like that, that is where Ninja Forms is paying for it to work. Um, but we can install and activate it for free. And because the most common use case is a contact form, if we go over to Ninja Forms interface, we'll see that they've already, uh, after we tell them we don't want them to collect our data, they've already got a contact form set up for us. So it'll send a short code. It'll give us a short code. So if I go to my WordPress site, um, as I record this in July of 2018, we're still on the classic editor, so that's what I'm using, uh, the visual editor that WordPress has had for lots of time. So if we go, oh, actually I want this to be a page, not a post, leave the page. So I'm gonna create a contact form and like a common pattern you'll see is it says contact us and then we just put the form into it. And what, the thing that's weird about shortcodes is that um, they're slightly unintuitive. It is worth noting as well that because we're using Ninja Forms, Ninja Forms has a feature where it's got this add form button and I can come in here and select my form and insert it that way as well. Either way, we're getting that short code. If I hit publish on this post, slash page, I guess it is, and I go to view page, then what I'm seeing is the, the Ninja Form plugin uh, form all set up. Fields are required and when they hit submit, I will get a uh, email sent to me as the site administrator, it'll default to sending it to that site administrator URL that you have in your WordPress site under settings. Uh, I believe it's general. So you can see mine's set to d at j.com, uh, which is not a real address, but uh, that's where Ninja Forms will default to. It also saves submissions. Um, so if you ever wanna recall them somewhere other than your email inbox, that's really helpful as well. So that's the basics of Ninja Forms and how you can use it to set up a contact form on your WordPress site. If you're on YouTube, thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, we'd really appreciate that. Subscribe, click the bell icon, all the things that people say you should do when you're on YouTube too much, like I always am. All right, cheers guys and gals.